Hello, hello, hello. Hello, we are starting with Raise You 5. Here we go, going strong. How are you guys doing? Hello, welcome, welcome, my lovely phoenixes. Here we are for another Raise You 5. And I'll be fully transparent. I am trying to work on making, condensing this and making it be five minutes as that was my intention. Just to have so much love and information to give and I always want to expand on it to make sure you get it. But I am working on it. So if I am more brief, um, it is because I'm trying to give you a lot of information or most vital and essential information in a short period of time. Okay, well, here we are, right? Thank you for joining me on this labor of love, um, which is to give you the tips and the tools to really manage and understand yourself and how you react to things. Um, and, you know, the way that we respond to things and why our reality is the way that it is. Um, and so particularly we are right now in this very amazing like just in revitalizing and activating um, ram and ox energy as we move from the rams that aries energy into the ox into the taurus um, both have similar qualities in the fact that they are very they like to keep order they're very consistent they're very dream they're very goal oriented um, and very practical and that's really what this is about it's a very practical energy between both of them where the ram may very you know dream and be very aggressive and very direct and that can lead to not being as flexible being more rigid the ox is a little bit you know in the same way can be rigid um, in working towards a goal but what they both have and what they both bring into it is really that grounded energy and consistency right and like conviction you can always find that with the ram and the ox so that's what we're talking about and some of the strengths of the ram and the ox to understand is that they understand the time that it takes to cultivate to harvest they really understand the time that something's going to take to actually come into fruition and they don't get frustrated by that instead they plan and they focus and that's what we can really take away from the ram and ox energy and i also have to say moving a little bit back we're also entering into right mercury and metro retrograde right now up until the mid-may um we're also entering um eclipse eclipse season and so there's a lot of shifting energy so i know a lot of people feel confused there's a lot of like reflection and feeling like activated and not really knowing what to do with that right you want to do things some of you may be acting impulsively or want to act impulsively because of that ram kind of ox energy and um but at the same time understanding and being really calculative uh to understand what it takes but feeling all the changes you yourself i'm like do i want it do i not do i want it do i not and it's shifting and really unearthing a lot of things so be aware of that be aware that that's the period and time that you're in and that that could really fluctuate your emotions okay so going back to the strength of the ox is like they're consistent they're disciplined um they're able to construct pathways right so they're able to be like with their diligence be like nope we're going this way this is what's going to happen this is what it's going to be right and if you know an aries or an uh, uh, or a taurus you know that that's how they are right they have the ability to really accept things and just process them as they are it's like okay if this is what it is this is how i'll go around it they don't spend time worrying about why is it that way i want it to be another way no they're like how am i getting around this because i know i'm getting through because i need to get to my goal and that's that ra that ram um ox energy right um they're able to like be pragmatic uh, and strategic so they understand again the time that something takes and that that might take time but what they got to do to build towards it right so they think about that they conceptualize that immediately or a lot easier they're also very convicted right um and they're able to balance their active drives with like really also like wanting to like really go at it with also being strategic and understanding that things are better timed um and with position in order to again get their goal right so here we go we get into it the five ways to make practical change to make change be practical feel practical so it can become that much easier to do now again we already know that change is hard we all can testify to that so i don't need to get into that right but it's how do you make change become easier right and feasible right and so these are the five ways number one is to reverse engineer 
See, that's what it takes to be strategic, is that you reverse engineer from what you want, go backwards as to what it takes. What steps does it take to become that? Break that down for yourself and then actually break that down um, in terms of your own goals. What? How far away are you from each milestone? What do you have to do to achieve each milestone? Break it down to that yearly that monthly, that weekly, that daily goal. What do I have to do on my day to day basis? How much, like, if I allot two, if I have to study for an exam that I want a certification in in order to excel in my in my career, right? Um, how many hours do I need to dedicate before the time, right? By when do I want to have the that job by the time that I want to have this kind of salary, right? Again, so you reverse engineer that and you break that down to like daily achievable goals or time being dedicated to each of these parts of your goals, okay? Um, and I can go on on setting goals and all that stuff, um, but that's another time. Uh, number two is the value of planting seeds. And that goes up with sell, um, setting goals and really understanding strategically what it takes as well. It's like, for instance, if I know that at a certain point I might need certain supplementary resources, it's about making that happen now. For instance, you know, re creating a relationship with your professor because you'll need a recommendation creating a professor with your uh, a relationship with your supervisor because you'll need a recommendation for when you're moving up which is okay right eventually you have to move up that's the idea um, number three is the peace and the purpose is understanding that every day you're working towards your goal and that's why getting that structured schedule and identifying daily what you can do to contribute to your goals is really going to help because you have the peace in knowing that when you start to get anxious and start to get worried, like, oh, I don't want to be he here in this spot, in this circumstance. Like, I really want to be an X, Y, Z in my next living on my own or in a better job or making more money or in a better relationship. Whatever that goal may be is understanding that you are working towards it. And so just the peace and knowing that you are working towards it can be very re-energizing, right? And continuing to help you do that. Um, number four, make it practical. Incorporate it into the routine. We're going back to that schedule, right? Like incorporate it into your routine, the things that you're working on towards that goal. If it's self-development, are you setting time to self-reflect and journal every day, right? If it's like weight goals, are you setting time to exercise and have a meal plan, right? You get the idea, etc. Number five, be convicted and focused. And that goes back to that Ram Ox energy where what do I have to do to get around it? They accept it as what it is. And they say, okay, this is the block. I'm going to look for where to go. Do I go under it, above it, around it? Do I blast through it? How, do I, how am I getting through it? They don't sit there and say, oh, this obstacle and try to like really dwell on it. They're just like, how am I getting through it? Because I'm going to go to my goal. So they're very convicted that they're going to get that. There's no question in their mind that they're not. If that's what they want, that's what they're going to get. And so those are the five ways, guys, the five ways. And I'm doing better every time, but we're still over five minutes. But still, the five ways to really make change practical, and it's embracing that kind of ram ox energy of five ways. Reverse engineer it. Break it down, right? Going backwards. What do you need to achieve? What do you need, the steps you need to take to achieve that? Two, planting seeds. What things you know that you need to cultivate or start cultivating now or nurturing now that are going to help you through that transition? Number three, just knowing that you're working on it by really incorporating it and, and setting the time to work on it in whichever way that is, whether that's daily on a week, daily basis, on a weekly basis, as, as often as you think fits your schedule your lifestyle but that you're still feeling that there's enough progress and forward movement right so you feel that is worth it um number four you want to make it practical just infuse it into your routine how much time you're allocating uh, number five be very sure and open-minded as to the way that you the the infinite ways that you can find to reach your goal don't stay stuck on one pathway one way you could always create that way because you as the ox and the ram right that energy can always pave that way as long as you're going and striving for your goal and you'll be able to do that okay so again take action action is change is a verb guys change is a verb what actions can i take today right that will get me closer to what i want to what i want to become 
right? You want to be able to remove those blockages. And for that, you know, I do offer amazing packages, amazing, really intensive that I've carefully curated out of my experience in order to really help move you through those steps, right? And I very much believe in a lot of traditional psychotherapy and I very much infuse it, use it, and still provide it. Uh, but sometimes if you really want to get to the root of the issue and you are ready for that step, right? If you're willing and you're open, um, and ready for that and we also I also help you get get to getting ready um, we do have a lot of ways to get there um, in a more accelerated deeper kind of way so really make sure to check it out check out the site check out the packages book your discovery call and we can talk a lot about that all right here you go again it is within my highest hope that you found value in these tips and these tools and that may propel you forward to your highest self and purpose okay and i am here so be sure to check it out remember right remember to follow the page and the services that we can really look into. And again, I have packages that offer a combination of these services all together. As always, it is my pleasure. And remember, together we rise.